hey guys so welcome back to the channel uh today i'm going to show you how to create something like this using alpine js i'm not really sure what i would call this maybe an image select or something i don't know but this is how it works right you click on the image and then it enlarges it for you now a use case scenario for this would be uh, for an e-commerce site, you know, like you have a bunch of products, right? And then you want to um, No, you have a product and then you have several pictures of that product Maybe the front view the back view the top interior whatever the kind of product is But you have different pictures for that single product and you want to showcase it Okay, a simple way of doing this would be using this feature. So I don't really know the name if you know the name you can let me know but I call it an I don't know image select or something i don't know what you want to call it anyways so if you're excited to learn about this you want to see how i implement this using just alpine js uh stick around remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and um let's get into it okay so now this is the HTML we are using. I already went out and um, used the HTML, created the HTML rather. Uh, I used Tailwind in doing that. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I've linked my Alpine and Tailwind CSS. All right, so let's look at the project now. This is it, I'll refresh. This is it, right? But you see, as I'm clicking on the images, they're not working, okay? It's only this first one because this first one was hard coded into it. I'm going to show you how you can hard code the image, or rather, when you refresh, when you start up the page, it shows the image you want it to show first, or you can decide not to show any image at all. And then when you click on the image, it shows you something. Okay, all right, so let's get into it. I'm sure if you've been following our series, you already know what we want to do. Okay. So now I'm going to create our, our components. I'm going to say I'll create our components. To do that, I have to first of all define our state or instantiate our state, our Alpine state using um, X data. Okay. So I'm going to do that in the div that wraps everything both the image and then the other smaller images at the bottom so that should be here i'm gonna do that here this one no mm, i think here will be the best place to do it actually because it houses everything or unless i can create another div which i don't want to do that so i'm just gonna use here to do that okay so firstly we're gonna say um x data right and then we're going to now the component we want to use is um uh should we say img yes for image so it's easier for you to um, understand so we're going to use image and we can decide to set it as an empty string right or we can decide to, um, what's it called? So give it an image, to give it the URL, the starting URL for the image. Okay, so what we can do is, we can use this right now. And I'm just gonna put it right here, okay? So since this is the image, this, um, this um, component here, this image IMG component holds this information or this URL, right? I don't want to have to put it here again. So what do I need to do? An option I can do is using xbind. So I can easily, I can easily use xbind for alpine. So to do that, all I just need to do is put this column. Originally, I can decide to say, let's say, um, write something like this, xbind, and then I put the class or something, something. Done. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to use the shorthand. So I'm going to say x bind. I want to bind the source. Okay. 
and in here i'm just gonna put that component img so that's just a simple way of doing that right right okay so let's let's see if, it, if this works because i'm not done anyways but let's see if it works you see it works but we're not done but right now you notice that if i click on all this it doesn't work because i have not automated it yet i have not um, used alpine to make it work so we're going to go back to the code and so what we want to do now is this is the first image right i want it to be that okay right, this is the second image here the second image i want it to be that anytime i click on the image on this image i want to show this image i want to enlarge it and show it here in this bigger image uh, place i want to show it here so what do I, what i can do is use an event listener where it is um uh um at click or uh how do you say it now x on click basically so it listens for a click in this place so when it listens for a click you tell it to do something so that's basically what we are going to do so i'm going to say um, you know what i think i should just wire everything up at the same time so it saves me time okay so what i'm going to do is this going to use multi cursor oh, I didn't get this one right let's see okay. I'm going to use multi cursor and um, write all of them at the same time at least most of them at the same time okay so I'm going to say add click right click equals img so i want to set img now that component i want to set it to something so i'll say uh i click equals to set set img to this so what do i want to give it now i want to give it the url of that image so in other words set img to this image that's what i'm saying so i'm going to give it the url of the image so you see there are a lot so i have about nine images here so i'm going to have to add code the numbers okay so i'm gonna say zero one for this first one and then we'll go from there all right so this should be zero two Okay, now that we've done that, right, so we have said that whenever we click on any of all these images, set this component IMG right here, set it to what is given here. Okay, that's what we have said right now. So with that work, let's see if it will work. Okay. All right, so I refresh. If I click on it, you see it's already working now. It's so simple. It's really working now. Okay, so now let's look at something else, right? What if what if um when you when you start the image, right? When you load the page for the first time, for some reason you don't want to show this big picture right here. Okay, you don't want to show it. So what do you do? How can you how can you do that? So let's see, this is a simple way of doing that. You can now decide to set this image that you already um, predefined, this URL you already predefined, you can set it to an empty string. And just like that, it should um, give you an empty string, but there might be some other things to it. You see now, it's telling you that, oh, I can't find this image. So it's giving you this. But we don't want that. We don't want to show that unless... You understand unless we click on an image you understand it to go out but 
if we're not clicking on any image we don't want to show this this looks bad on our site like you cannot find the image so we don't want to show this so how can we remove this now a simple way of doing this is to say um is to use the um, css style uh display none a simple way we can do that okay so let's say um sorry let's say style and then we'll give it um display none sorry right so we'll give it display none so if we give it display none now look at what happens it doesn't show the image at all you see that's good kind of what we wanted but now when you click on the image it doesn't show you anything at all why because we already set that to display none so in other words we're saying don't show it at all but that's what we want we want to have a conditional that says okay when we click on it when we click on the image show the the bigger image of it but if we're not clicking on any image don't show anything okay so this is how we can do that we already use display none here now one way, one way we can resolve this is by saying um we can use x show here we can use x show and say when this um component is defined or is in play you understand because right now it's an empty string so when it's not an empty string show whatever is here okay that's how one way we can do that okay so now i refresh you see it's nothing but if i click it will show you something so that's how that's a simple way you can you can do that okay i refresh again i click it shows you so now you see that there's no um sometimes you you see some it like a kind of blip just before just before your page loads right you see a kind of blip but right now there's no blip there's also there's also um what's it called there's also another way of us to do this um styling there's also another way to do our uh, styling and um that would be um what's it called now that would be using x cloak that would be using x cloak so now how can we how can we do that now the simple way of doing that is to say over here now we have a style we can have a style tag over here right we can have a style tag over here and um have x cloak now x cloak is a property of alpine so you can check that Basically, what it does is like it does um x it does a uh, display none. So instead of writing writing the style display none, you can just use x cloak. So what we can do now is have x cloak. Let me um do well. We can have x cloak here, and um we say this, and then we cannot have our display none. Display none. All right so here now having done that here now instead of having um instead of having this style here we can just have x cloak and it, it should work just the same okay so let's check it out okay so i click it shows you click i'm going to refresh again now so you see it and there's no blip at all you see so now you might ask um why instead of having instead of going through the process of having a style in our actual um html file why don't we just um use the inline display none that we used earlier on well one one reason is that you might be working on a project where you might have several of these um gallery stuff that we're doing or maybe something similar that you need to show or hide something right you might have multiples of it so are you going to now be on every place be writing style display none display none right 
you don't want that it will make your code smell so one easy way of doing that is just define it here at the top and then don't worry about that any other place you want to use it just write like xcloak so it's that simple it's that easy so if this has been informative for you you like this you like alpine you like what you're learning please leave a like subscribe if you are new we give alpine videos here soon we're going to be dropping html videos so you definitely you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss anything we're going to be teaching you how to design front-end web pages using tailwind sometimes i might decide to use bootstrap as well but maybe mostly tailwind okay so if you like this subscribe shout out to friends show them this let them learn okay it's been a lot follower here and i'll see you next time bye bye